So hi guys, at mali nagbabalik ang yung engineer, Benong. Okay, at ang bagong topic na i-discuss natin ngayon ay ang division or extension of line segments. Okay, so let me start. Sa ibang reference, sinasabing ito ay division of line segments. Kaya lang po, nagkakaroon din kasi tayo ng extension. Okay, paano po ba yung idea about dito? So let's say, meron tayong point 1 with coordinates x1, y1. Okay? And then, meron po tayo ditong point 2 with coordinates x2, y2. Okay? Say for example, hatiin ko si point 1 to point 2 into 3 equal parts. Let's say, this is the first and the second division. So, let's say this is PO with coordinates XO, YO. So, ang lagi po kasing pinapahanap dyan madalas ay ano ang coordinates ni XO at ni YO. Okay? So, XO is equal to X1 plus R, X2 minus X1, while YO is equal to Y1 plus R, Y2 plus minus y1. Okay? Ano po yung r na yan? Yung r is a ratio kung paano mo yan dinivide. So, r is equal to p1 to po all over p1 to p2. So, palatandaan ko dyan, p po, p p2. Okay? Ulitin natin, r is p po, p p2. Okay? For example, paano ba natin yan i-analyze? Sabihin natin, there is a line segment from P1 to P2 which is trisected. Hinati natin sa tatlo. Okay? So, kung hinati natin sa tatlo, this is 1, 1 third, this is 2 thirds mula dito hanggang dito, and then this is 3 over 3 or simply 1. Okay? So, paano natin yan i-analyze? So, P1 to PO, P1 to PO, pag yan yung pinag-usapan natin, that is just equal to 1 third P1 to P2. Tama po ba? While, yung P1 to P2, anong haba niya? P1 to P2 na. So, ikakancel ko lang, anong R ko? 1 third. Okay? Pero ito yung teknik ko kapag sinabing trinisect yung linya. Pag sinabi kong trinisect yung linya, iniisip ko agad na yung haba mula P1 to P2 ay 3. So, ang bawat haba ng division ay 1. So, kung P1 to P2, 3 units yan. Ano nga ba ng P1 to P0? 1. Mula dito, 1 din. Mula dito, 1 din. 1 plus 1 plus 1. 3. At mas madaling i-utilize yung R nun. Bakit? Anong haba ni P1 to P of? 1. Anong haba ni P1 to P2? 3. So, matik, R is equal to 1 third. So, yan po ay kapag division of line segment. Paano naman? Paano naman kapag ang pinag-usapan natin ay extension? Or simply, i-extend natin yung linya. So, sabihin natin, meron ulit ako dito ang Cartesian plane. Okay? Ito si P1 with coordinates x1, y1. And then, sabihin kong ito si P2 with coordinates x2, y2. ba diba, nakabuo ako ng isang line segment. Okay? Ito daw line segment nito, ay i-extend ko ng 8 times ng its original length. I-extend ko daw ito ng 8 times ng original length papuntang point O. So, P O with coordinates X O Y O. Ulitin ko ha. I-extend daw natin ito ng 8 times ng original length hanggang P O. Okay? So, kung ito ay 8, anong length nito? 1. Kasi in-extend natin ito ng 8 times So, 1 unit to, mula P2 hanggang P0, 8 units naman. Tama? So, anong kabuo ang unit natin? 
Anong kabuo ang haba natin? 9 units. Tama po ba? So, kapag tinakuha natin si R, o, ah, si R, sorry, that is Pipo, Pipito. Okay? So, anong haba mula P1 to P0? 8 plus 1 or simply 9. Anong haba ni P1 to P2? 1. So, R is equal to 9. As you can see, it is not always less than 1. It could also be greater than 1. Pero it will never be negative. Tandaan nyo ha? Pero madali lang naman itong makuha mamaya kasi gagamitan naman natin ng calculator technique. Okay? So, ganyan po ang division or extension ng line segments. So, please copy. Let's start solving problems. Determine the coordinates of the points, which is 3 fifths of the way from the point 2, negative 5 to the point negative 3, 5. Determine the coordinates of the points, which is 3 fifths of the way from the point 2, negative 5 and the point negative 3, 5. So, meron daw tayong point, let's say point 1, 2, negative 5. And then, yung point to natin is negative 3, 5. Okay? So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 2, negative 5. And then, negative 3, 5. So, this is point 2. Okay? Meron daw tayong point dito sa line segment na to na 3 fifths away from point 1. So, ibig sabihin, nahati ito sa lima. So, this is 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths. So, ito yung point O natin with coordinates X, O, and Y, O. Tama. So, this is 3 fifths. Yun agad yung R natin. And this is 2 fifths. Okay? Remember that XO is equal to X1 plus R, X2 minus X1, while YO is Y1 plus R, Y2 minus Y1. Okay? So, to solve for the value of XO, so that is 2 plus 3 fifths times negative 3 minus 2. So, that is negative 1. Well, to solve for the value of y o, that is negative 5, plus 3 fifths 5 minus negative 5 so that is equal to positive 1 ok so for the coordinates of that point is negative 1 1 so at some point tama yung drawing natin kasi nasa second quadrant siya. so paano mo naman gagamitin dito yung calculator technique diba ito si point 1 2, negative 5. So, using mode complex, i-store ko kay A, 2 minus 5i. Kasi nga po, sa, sa complex number na A plus bi, A is the real part, B is the imaginary, A is the x-coordinate, while B is the y-coordinate. So, 2 minus 5i. So, Kapag naman point 2, that's negative 3, 5, i-store ko naman po siya kay B. So, that's negative 3, sorry, negative 3 plus 5i. Okay? So, how can you get the coordinates of point O? Sabihin natin siya ay C. So, formula lang din. C is equal to 
a kasi point 1 or x1 or y1 plus r b minus a. So that is a plus 3 fifths b minus a. So kapag ginawa ko yun, ang lalabas ay negative 1 plus i. Or simply, ang coordinates is negative 1 and positive 1. So, as you can see, kapag ginamitan natin ang calculator technique, sabay na nating makukuha si x coordinate at si y coordinate or si x o tsaka si y o. Pero nasa discretion niyo na yun kung anin yung gusto niyo yung gamitin. Ako kasi ito yung ginagamit ko kasi sanay na po ako. Okay, so please copy.